and welcome to a proper inventor tip. Now, this one's going to be looking at Team Web. Now, your eye holes might have glanced over Team Web before, and you might have thought that's for people that do something totally different than me. It's for a corporate guy or a manager or someone that's interested in teams, whereas me, I'm just me. I just do me stuff. I don't need to know what it is. I think you might. It might be useful. It might be. So, Team Web, right, what it is. So when you boot up Inventor, you're given this sort of default home screen. This is the home screen, right? When you click home, you get this. This is 2016. 2015 wasn't that much different. And so is Autodesk, but it's kind of take it or leave it. I can do new by clicking new. I can look at recent documents by going to here. It's kind of meh. Yeah. It's not really all that useful. So Team Web. If you click the Team Web button at the moment, you get given this. And it's like, right, that's just nothing. I can't be bothered to read it. Move along now. Nothing to see here. But what we can do is we can put a web page inside Inventor. <gasps> Say what? Yeah, we can. And you might be thinking, why would I want to do that? I've got a web browser. Well, this is kind of a useful tip for people that have only got one monitor. If you've got two monitors, then it might not be that useful at all. But one monitor, then it might be. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the I menu at the top. And then we're going to go to Options. And then on the File tab... You've got a little setting down here for Team Web. So I'm going to go over to a web browser, copy an address to the clipboard, and then paste that address in here. And then click that to make it the default page, which means that it's going to load up that page when you open up Inventor. And now when you click Team Web, it'll then load that web page into actual Inventor. So you've now got a full web browser inside Inventor. Mm, my goodness me! My goodness me. So if I was to close down Inventor now, which I'm not going to, but and then open it back up, it loads up straight to this page. So you can now click, you can go to forums and stuff, you can click links and that, and it'll load them all inside Inventor. Tip, though, another tip, and this is a tip for Autodesk. This is your website, Autodesk, inside your product, and I can't play your tutorial videos. Just hashtag, just saying. Hashtag, just However, however, if you were to go back to the team web setting and you would have put in the address of a proper tutorial page I'm talking a proper actual useful tutorial page you can then have everything you need in one session yes that's integration right there legit next level collaboration you're welcome so you can have me you can have me actual inside your inventor session now the cynical bunch amongst you might be thinking son of a bitch boy you don't know what's good and what's bad this is just completely gimmicky gimmicky to the next level <laughs> not really not really not really i know you probably some of them might be thinking well you know i use invented to work and this isn't working this is just browsing the internet and that's what i've got chrome for or in explorer but what you can do what are you can do? If you were to open up something and then work and do some actual work, which is what you meant to do in this very expensive piece of kit, which you bought or downloaded, uh, you can go to View, and then you go to the Windows area, go to Tile Vertically, and then you can have your tutorials on one side of Inventor, and then you can have your work on the other. Look at that. Look at that. So you can now do your thingy, you can do your sketches and stuff, you can do whatever you need to do on this side, whilst on this side, you can go, oh, I need to, I need to know about bolted connections. Hmm. And then you can play them on that side. Look at that! Isn't that absolutely magic? Yeah, you can have a little video playing down there, and you can do your work over here, you can have another video up there if you wanted to, could you? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Let's just not get too ahead of ourselves, and let's just keep it to one. You're welcome. You're welcome. That's how you can have me inside your inventor. Coming straight to you through the magic of the internet and plug myself right into your inventor session and bring my joyful, joyful tones straight. I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm just wasting time. All right. Thank you very much. That might be useful for somebody. It might not be. I don't know. Press like on the video if it was. Press dislike if you don't like me. Press subscribe if you want to see some more of me, etc, etc, etc. See ya. Bye.